Hi guys, okay, so today I am sorry about that I'm looking up to you guys. <sighs> my phone has no storage, so I can't film on that, and then my camera's not working, so I can't film on that, so I'm filming on my laptop again. Back to the old days. Um, so today I'm doing my November favorites, but my November favorites are the same as my October favorites because I know I forgot to do those, and um, I just didn't have time to film. And plus, basically my October favorites are the same as my November favorites, so it would have been pointless to make two videos. So, let's get started. My first favorite is this lipstick. It's by, I am busy, leave me alone. It's this lipstick by Bite Cosmetics. It is in the shade Mulberry. I am wearing it today. I absolutely love this shade. So it looks like in the tube. Clearly I've used quite a bit of it. And um, I really like this because it's really, the pigmentation is just great. And then the color is just nice. Um, it's not like a true color on here. It's looking a little more pink on the camera. It's a little more like of a berry on in real life. I think that's right. <laughs> um, but all lipsticks fade. And so when this one fades, it fades evenly, which I like. Because it doesn't stay on your dry patches of your lips if you have any. It just fades down to a light pink. Instead of like, oh, it's going to be big here, but like nothing here. I just really like this color. The next thing is this lip tar by OCC. It is called Black Dahlia. And um, let's see if you guys can see like the color in the tube maybe. It's just a really good plum tube. I don't want to swatch this because um, it stains your hands and it's difficult to get off. But it's more of like a really deep, um, deep plum, almost black color. But I love it. The next favorite is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer, Oil Free, and it's pore minimizing. I really like this stuff. It's the best primer I've ever used in my life. Um, it's even better than the Smashbox Original, which I have used before. Let me just show you guys what it looks like. Because it's not like a nor, it's like skin color. You guys see it? It's more of like a skin color. And when you rub it in, it's just so smooth and silky. It's literally silk on your fingers. Well, you're going to rub it on your face, so it's more like silk on your face. And then you can't even see it once you rub it in. Next favorite of mine is a Bare Minerals eyeshadow. I got this as a sample because um, Sephora was doing samples for like the Benefit Mascara, one of theirs, and then a Benefit, um, the Cat Eye Gel Liner thing. And because I couldn't get any of those when I called to have them hold me some, when they told me to, like, I went on Friday when I got the email, they told me to call Monday to see, to have them hold them for me so I can come in and get one. They said they didn't have any. So I got two different, um, Bare Minerals <laughs> samples, and this is just one of them, and I really enjoy this eyeshadow duo. Look how pretty that is. Like, that's, like, more of, like, a coppery color, and that's more of, like, a like a peach pinky shimmery shade. This lighting is horrible. I do apologize. Like it's not sunny out outside and like the lighting is just bad. The shades are called Mixologist and then Cognac. I'm assuming that's what it's called. Another favorite of mine is this nail polish. I got it from Hot Topic because you guys all know I work there. It is the shade Wine. It's the color I've on my, do not look at the chipped nails. It's the same color I've on my nails right now. Only thing I don't like about this is I just did my nails the of like two days ago. Look at them, two days ago. So that's the bad thing about it is it chips quickly, but it's actually pretty cheap. So I don't mind like cheap nail polish chipping away faster than like, let's say if I went to, got an OPI, which is $9, I wouldn't want it chipping away in two days. Plus I use my fingers a lot. Like I get change and stuff out at the registers. Another favorite of mine is this Botanics um, Mattifying Day Cream Sunscreen Moisturizer. Wow, that is horrible. You can't see that at all. Um, it's like a tube coming out like this. The only thing I don't like about this is because I don't think this is very sanitary to like dip your fingers in all the time. I don't think it's sanitary, but it's a really good moisturizer. Um, if you put too much on, it can get a little oily and it doesn't make anything matte. But as long as you don't put too much on, you should be good. Just like, I just dip my middle finger in there and get some out. Rub it on. Rub it all over my face. The next 
favorite of mine is a face wash by Neutrogena. It is green. It's supposed to help with redness. I love this face wash. It really does help with redness. Um, I have a lot of red scarring on my face from acne. And this has helped the redness go down so much. Even on blemishes that I have now, this just helps a lot. So I have one. Oh, wait. No, I'm not done with my favorites. Those are just the physical ones. Another favorite of mine is um, American Horror Story Freak Show. I just really like American Horror Story. I know this is not their best season. Actually, this is probably their worst season they've had. But I still really enjoy it because I just, I just really love Evan Peters. Like, I just love him. He's so, oh, love it. And then I'm um, also The Walking Dead. I know literally yesterday. No. What is today? Tuesday. Sunday was the mid-season finale, but I've just been really enjoying The Walking Dead. Like, some crazy things have happened. I mean, it's not been, like, an insane season, but it's, like, that's a good season. I'm digging it. And then I have one unfavorite. Um, I think with this product, it could go either way. Either you like it or you hate it. This is the Maybelline Baby Skin. Um, it's not... Oh, the worst found primer I've ever used. But actually, no, this is the worst primer I've ever used. Yeah, and it's not even close to being the best one. It's supposed to be pore minimizing, but, I mean, it doesn't minimize my pores as much as the Smashbox one. Sorry, I keep looking at myself. It doesn't minimize my pores as much as the Smashbox one. It is just another silicone-based primer. This one is a lot more oily, it feels like, on my skin than the Smashbox one. Like, this one just doesn't seem to soak into my skin. Or, I don't know, it's just, ew, it feels gross. It just feels really gross on my skin compared to, like, the Smashbox one, which feels silky. This one just feels oily. The book I recommend for the month of November and October is Stephen King's Desperation. I know this is a big book. Look, look how thick that baby is. Look how thick it is. Um, I really enjoy Stephen King, so if you're not a big fan of, like, scary books or, like, um, horror-type books, like, if you've seen certain movies, like, The Shining was written by him, that was a book based off him, um, Pet Cemetery was a book based off him, It, book based off of him, certainly, like, if you're not into those, you're probably not going to be into this book, but I really enjoyed it, and I do recommend it for the month of well, your month of December, my months of October and November, because it literally, this book me, book took me so long to start reading. I only read it at work at Chevy's, because you guys know I got two jobs. I only read it at Chevy's, so it took me forever. They're like, you're still writing this book? I'm like, leave me alone. But I have learned my lesson not to bring such a thick book to work, because look how little the words are. So it just, it just took a while. There's a lot on one page. So... Until next time, guys. Bye.